What were your other options? What did you look into next? Well, the other, I mean, uh, um, internet. I mean, uh, internet's a fantastic tool, which I think everybody knows. Um, and, you know, you punch in whatever, alcohol abuse, detox, or whatever you want to say about um, alcohol, and, you know, and the internet will bring up you lists of everything that you want. So I looked at these things, and I, 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 had, um, I had looked at, um, like, most of these things were residential courses. Yeah. And they were, um, they were like six weeks. I thought, well, you know, that was just another excuse. Six weeks was like, you know, that's another excuse not to, uh, not to, 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 to do what I wanted to do. The problem with residential courses, and closed environment courses is that um, great when you're there and uh, and the counselling is pretty good um, the problem being is that it's too long it's too expensive and when you get um, back to your own environment and uh, normally 50% of people who have been on, on these courses basically go back to alcohol again and I was shocked at these figures you know, I was really shocked and put off and uh, you know I could have I, at the time I could afford it but I couldn't afford the time you know, I have um, people that rely on me but I knew I had to do something the next step I was on business in, um, in Latvia Riga um, uh, which is a lovely place and um, I have a lot of business contacts in, in that area and I basically, uh, I got talking about alcohol. I got very, um, I started to be a lot more open about it because I had to. So, um, and a good business friend of mine um, who realized that I did have a problem and in that, in that fear, and it's, it's more acceptable that you do have a problem, said, why don't you try the code? I mean, the course I found out was uh, through research was pop popular in um, most East European states. I came back to the UK, and um, I mentioned before that I had a good relationship with my my GP. He's actually German, um, and I, I I I explained this to the, my GP. He said, "Oh yeah, I know about that." And I went, but I've been researching this on the internet, books, libraries, everywhere. And he knows about this. And he goes, oh yeah, the Germans go across to the Ukraine, or, or they go to Russia, or they go to Latvia. Um, because it's only a car ride away, you know, most of them, it's, it's in that area. And um, he says, yeah, it works. After uh, checking with my GP and the research that I'd gone through, uh, and I was at the time where I really had to do something. And... I decided to uh, choose a clinic in Riga, um, Latvia, um, great because it, it, it's not that far away and I basically delivered myself there um, for treatment. The detox is, is delivered through intravenous um, injection and um, it's not constantly 24 hours a day um, but also it's with saline and it helps to, to wash your system out. Uh, and with vitamins and, and, and so forth. Then the treatment is can be either delivered by uh, an injection, a one-off injection, or can be delivered by intravenous uh, drip. That's, um, so that's quite quick then, it's just... Very quick, yeah, once you've four to five days. I mean, you can actually do it in three days and have a treatment on the fourth. Once you've taken this treatment, it's a first step. It's a physical medical intervention. I think that's a, that's a good way of putting it. It is physical intervention. It, it, it gives you that breathing space of knowing that if you're going to have a drink, you're going to be ill. It, but the, the, the feeling that you don't want to drink anyway is, is great as well. So you have to, you, over that year, you have to really find out what, where you stood, what, what were you doing, why were you drinking in the first place, how you got to that point. But it gives you that time to um, to evaluate why you you were drinking. One of the reasons that I started Alustin Health off, I wanted to help other people, um, and 
Uh, but I found it quite difficult. It was difficult for me to, to do what I did. It was by chance I had found out about this treatment. There was no advertising. There was nobody, uh, nobody told me about it in the UK. Um, so it was by chance. So I wanted to make other people aware. I mean, apart from the other people I knew who had to drink problems, and uh, I could tell them word of mouth. And I decided to open a company. But I didn't want people to go through the same problems as I, I did. Because I knew Latvia very well, and Riga very well, and how uh, professional the clinics and, and how nice the people are, I, um, I found that I, I thought I could put a package together um, where I could help other people who have alcohol problems, either it be you know, full-blown alcoholism, binge drinking, whatever, whatever the problem is, um, I could help them. And I could help them by offering a... a, a a one-off package including meals, flights, accommodation, um, the clinic, um, translate as if needed. Um, most people speak English say anyway. Um, so that's where I, that's the avenue I went down.